Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got an Underwood, uh, or Olivetti Underwood 21 here. This is similar to a lot of the Olivetti machines. This one's kind of a large portable, it's not the practice or letter of style machine, but it's, it's, it's got similar, similar characteristics, including the ribbon, of course. But what we're going to mess with today is these grommets, which I've done on other machines, so... You know, mounting screw goes through here and over there, and this one, they were literally gone. There was no rubber left. They were just banging around with the screw like this. So, I made some, I made a grommet that fits it right here. So this one's done, and it's, it's just perfect. So this is tightened up just perfect. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and loosen it and take the case off. And show you the process to do this. So this has got a shoulder screw and a washer, and then of course the grommet. And uh, so you just got to kind of make them as you need them. There's the washer. There's the new grommet right there. So let me take this thing out of the out here. Over. She doesn't like to be, doesn't like to not have its feet on the, doesn't want to, doesn't want to go. Come on. Alright, what are you doing, buddy? Let's go. Let's go, Mojo. Here is a box of grommets. And this has my collection of rubber parts. And I just buy these assorted kits, so it's got a lot of different style grommets. Ones that aren't going to work. And the o rings are in here too, so I got o rings galore. Those work for certain things. And big grommets, but I think what we're using is this guy right here. I'm going to take out three more of these, and we'll try those, I think. So the gap here is, is good. This is kind of thick, thick metal, but it's going to work out just fine. That's so kind of thick. But it's tough to get these in just like this. They, in fact, they, they don't really want to fit. There may be a little too big a diameter. So what can be done here is you just take this grommet and cut out a section. Plus it's going to help putting it in. So just cut a slice in it and then cut another little piece out. Just that little piece right there. Maybe a little more. Those two little pieces. So now there's a small gap. Like that. That's going to help get it squeezed on. And then it's just going to it's gonna close up tight like that one. Anyhow, you'll never really notice the, uh, the, gap, the gap in there. So... And all I got to do is manipulate it into place. Not uh, too difficult at this point of a process, but sometimes you gotta still gotta do some rubber manipulation. And that's just about. 
about it, but one went in actually went in faster than the other one did. Let's check this side and make sure uh yeah, get this thing centered a little more here. So I'll pull it through like that there. Okay. Maybe just make sure it's got a nice uh, opening is clear to accept the uh, sticks on there. Just wiggle it around. There we go. And the screw should fit right through there, just nice and snug. It's nice. So that's how you do that. I'll do the other two here. Make short work of that, but that's a that's a good little rubber replacement for the the shell on these machines. All right, Phoenix typewriter. Good day.